Hello everybody, today I'm going to be going through another brief Word document that I was sent to by somebody who is not a native speaker to help assist them with their written English. So we're going to be going through some of the uh, things that they could perhaps fix up to make things sound a little bit clearer and a little bit more accurate. And if you have any queries about anything that I say at any point during the video, please just write in the comments below. Um, and I sh should be able to help you out and help clarify some of the things that I'm talking about. So just want to make mention that the person's original text is in blue and then I'm pasting uh, some of my modifications just beneath, especially with the more pronounced changes being in yellow. I might have forgotten a few. I've also changed names for the benefit of the global audience. So I met Anna at the mums group meeting in the Perth CBD 10 years ago. From then onwards, we have been best friends. I decided to say onwards because whilst till is okay, until is better because until is the more formal way of wording it. Because it is ongoing since that point, onwards is a better word because it's pretty much making mention of the fact that it's something that began in the past and it hasn't ended yet. And therefore, we also need to have the past tense. We have been best friends. We have been and we're continuing to be. She is like a sister to me. I have that as the present tense because that is the current feeling that the author has about Anna. She is like a sister to me. Right now, I feel like she is my sister. Now, where the author has written, I went through her separation that is, it's understandable, but it's better to say I was with her through her separation. Um, when, when you say that you went through something, it, it can mean that you're experiencing all the same things. You've encountered the exact same things. Um, some people could use that terminology. I think it would be better to... Uh, put a little bit more distance between the author and Anna. So I, so I was with her through her separation with her ex-husband, James. You could also have written her now ex-husband, James, or her current her husband at the time, James. But I feel that this is good enough. Also, you've got to make sure that you don't have the space in between ex and husband. Well, Since then, she moved to my place when she broke up with him in 2012. As a result of her living with me, I got the chance to know her well. It could also have been I got the opportunity to know her well. I say as a result because you would normally say something like this when you've got a certain clause and then the result is what has happened um, due to what happened earlier. Due to is not normally used quite like this. Um, you would say it's more the connector of the sentence rather than the, the part at the start. So, for example, I was late to school due to missing my bus. That That is maybe a, a better way of using due to. As a result, can, can be the way that you use to start off a sentence because that's almost saying... It's almost uh, changing the order in which we would have the sentences saying her live, I got to know her well from her living with me. As a result, allows you to have the her living with me part at the beginning, which is what the author had. And that's why I chose to use that to frame it as such. She is a rationalist, funny and a goal achiever. So as with all things, you put the and before the last descriptor. So she is A, B, and C. But because goal achiever, a person who achieves their goals is a noun, you need to make sure that you have A in front of it, a definite article. Uh, also, very good word, rationalist. It's not one that many people would use, so I'm impressed that the author came up with this. She is always responsible and holds herself accountable. So I've reworded the initial sentence and the reason being is because 
I wanted to to separate things a, a little bit. Always being responsible of yourself, it's something that can be said, but it is better to at least define who you're talking about. We're talking about she, that's our way of uh, denoting Anna in the third person. She's always responsible and holds herself accountable, I felt was a good way of describing that she's responsible for her own actions. Now, the next part of Mr. Comma. Unfortunately, she's not a good communicator and sometimes can be impatient. Not This is a better way of framing how well somebody is at communicating. They're either a good communicator or a bad communicator. Hopefully, I am being a good communicator in this video. However, she always helps me and her other friends by doing house chores and by looking after the children when we need help from her. So by doing, it's again saying that she always helps me and these other people and the way that she helps is by and then you put in the actions. So you're saying that it is the intermediary word, so the word in the middle between the actions and the reference to assistance. She helps by doing this. I can afford to buy things by working and earning money. It's the same thing here and buy. And we also need to have looking the continuous verb. She always helps by looking after children. If it wasn't for the buyers, then we can have something else such as she looks after children, I look after children. But she helps me by looking after children. She has a beautiful heart. Now, I've changed this sentence up a little bit. So it was when we lived together due to the breakup, um, and in a certain period of time, she needed to go back to Turkey. I've changed it quite a lot. In 2012, and now we have the comma, and then all this has been reworded. We had already mentioned that she used to, that the author lives with Anna, and that the Anna and her ex husband had broken up. So we don't need to rewrite it. Um, but in case it's possible that the reader might have forgotten, we can put it in brackets. Now, when you've got something in brackets, it still, it still exists, but the way that you write the rest of the sentence is as if it didn't exist. So I've put in the comma, and then the sentence goes on as per normal. In 2012, she needed to go back to Turkey. Because the author made mention to having lived with Anna, I wanted to keep that information around, just in the brackets and in the... In the brackets also, there is the reason why they live together, which again had already been mentioned earlier. Her father was very sick, past tense. Sadly, she lost her dear father. I have been, I have been seeing her in a lot of pain from her father's death and the separation with her ex-husband. I actually think it would be better if this was from from her ex-husband and I have been seeing her makes reference to it's something that happens in the past but it also makes mention of it's still happening if it was just solely in the past you could say I had been seeing her or I had seen her in a lot of pain this is the tense we will use for something that is in the past but is ongoing also it is similar to what something we had used earlier on in the piece. From my view, I can see that she loved her partner deeply. So again, loved as opposed to loves. Loved is past tense. Loves is present tense for the third person. He loves, she loves. And we'll just move this onto the next page. Okay. However, there were a lot of conflicts from their different views towards life. I missed this little mistake as well. So again, we need past tense, not present. 
and we don't need to say uh, towards the life uh, toward the life we can just have it as towards life life is a in this instance an inanimate thing it's something that you can't grab but it's something that you can constantly experience besides her family didn't treat her in the right right way besides there's a little bit of a strange word to use and make sure that you have the comma uh, straight after that word besides is however used to back up an earlier argument or to back up earlier points of view so whilst this might look a little bit strange it actually works fine also in the earlier sentence however there were a lot of conflicts from their different views towards life make sure that there's a comma you need to put the uh, punctuation in the sentence as you would say it so if we read this sentence without that comma however there were a lot of conflicts from their different views towards life that doesn't have the quite the same flow as however there were a lot of conflicts from their different views towards life it needs to be that brief little pause in between these first two words and it's something that almost always occurs with a word like however that's when all the problems started to build up again this is past tense the problems began in the past if it's something that is very very recent it you can say it's it's actually you couldn't really have it as recent a new start it must be past tense started after all it which is short for it is which means it needs to have the apostrophe after all it's not my place to criticize it's just spelt wrong up there to criticize their relationship all i want to do is help her when she is in pain so when she feels pain or when she's in pain and again pain is an inanimate thing it's not something that you can grab but it's something that you can feel it's the same for you could say the word in distress when she's in distress she's in pain but it is not a noun so if it's not a noun you don't have the i'm hoping god which is a name which means it's capitalized i'm hoping god can bless her and to heal her broken heart so she can now this is joining the earlier clause from the sentence if her heart is healed her broken heart is healed then it will allow her to recover and to begin a new life so is the word that combines it i will work a lot of hours so i can afford a new car her broken heart can be healed so she can recover to begin her new life so that's why we have that and begin her new life much better than saying get the new life again understandable i just slightly change the words that way it um alludes to alludes to something that makes a little bit more sense something that's a little bit uh, structured a little bit better so that's today's version of events uh, if you've got any questions just please post it in the comments below Hopefully this has been helpful.